Is Regan different from the people around her? Or is she also driven by ambition? Mm. Oh, I think she is driven by the, uh, the need to keep everything together. Uh, and it, it, the, the last thing she keeps, to, she keeps together is herself. I mean, she thinks she is, right? Because she's she thinks she's not crumbling, but I think she's the last person she looks after. Everyone else is her priority except herself. Uh, Jos and Stephanie are experts in representing the Upper East Side. We could see it in Gossip Girl. Are we going to see a different approach in City on Fire? From Gossip Girl? I think so. I, I haven't seen the, no, the I, Gossip Girl. I, but... I don't know Gossip Girl that, that well, but, but I think I, I think so. Well, well, I think the main thing about our show is that uh, there's, an, there's an engine that's running underneath it the whole time. There's this, uh, the mystery of this tragedy in Central Park that actually is the catalyst for unlocking the lives of all these people. And, and I think these are people based on, uh, like defined by their disconnection from one another and the secrets they mm -hmm. keep from one another and their loneliness. Um, mm -hmm. and, and then the events actually sort of uh, um, unlock those things. And so I think that with City on Fire, I, I can't speak. My, yeah, I don't know gospel girl that that well, but I, but I think City on Fire has like a has a direction to it and a purpose that that we're that we're watching all this. It's a, it's more of a singular piece than so, than something that will, uh, you know. There's also a lot of love in it that I don't know. I don't know the other shows, but that this show as as it progresses, there's there's just so much love between the characters, right? And so yeah. and every character. I mean, there's there's good there's good guys and bad guys, right? <laughs> they're they're just they're just are, um, but uh, everyone sort of uh, evolves, right? And uh, goes through a hardship and comes out the other end, um, you know, uh, s stronger or or ha having grown somewhat. But at least there's there's a closeness. There's everyone gets closer. Yeah, and and I think maybe if that's uh, that that was like that, if that was a draw for them, which it's funny I've never heard them talk about it in that way, but that that this upper class New York life was a draw for them. Maybe that is why they were attracted to the book. But but our story like takes place throughout many worlds of New York, and it's a very eclectic group. Like this is set in a moment where like we're going to see the beginnings of like huge wealth disparity in New York, especially, and we explore the worlds of of. Um, Of, of the the uh, less fortunate and the fortunate in in, in our world, and so so um, I, I think that our, our story has some political undertones. That definitely, um, yeah. Thank you so much for the interview. It was a pleasure. Thanks very much. Thank you.